Okay, uh, some of you are struggling on how to get your new, uh, let's say like a Ryzen CPU running on, a, on an older uh, motherboard that doesn't support the brand new CPU model out of the box. This is a very uh, common situation on the AMD platform as AMD offers a very long-term support on their motherboard. So you can let's say use a relatively old X470 motherboard with a brand new AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPU. Of course the very old X470 motherboard doesn't have native, su native support for the new CPU model. So uh, in order to run the new CPU on that, old on that old motherboard you need a BIOS update. And how to do that without an old CPU is to use the BIOS flashback utility that's present on the motherboard. So uh, if you don't have this feature or if the motherboard doesn't have this feature you need to obtain an older CPU and flash the BIOS using that old CPU and then swap the, C then, then swap the brand new CPU in and then you can actually use the motherboard properly. So uh, I think this uh, BIOS flashback utility is present, present on different motherboard vendors models now so EVGA has it Gigabyte has it, I think MSI has it as well. So uh, I think it's quite common. So we only need the 24 pin connected on the motherboard. So I'm just using the Seasonic Prime 1200 watt platinum power supply that's over there. And I'm, I have only connected the 24 pin connector to the motherboard. So we don't need, we don't even need the eight pin power connector for the CPU. We don't have any uh, drive connected on the motherboard, no heat, no uh, cooling solution on the CPU as we are not going to turn on the computer in this phase. So we only need the 24 pin. What we do need is an empty, well I'm not fully sure if it's uh, required to have a like, completely empty USB drive but this one over here is an empty USB drive that has been formatted to FAT32. You can also use uh, I think FAT16 format but you need a FAT format anyways. I've only downloaded the latest BIOS from the ASUS ROG website and you need to name you need to name the BIOS name correctly that corresponds with the motherboard model you wish to flash and it's been the same way uh, pretty much like nearly 10 years for now. So uh, you need to name in my case, as I'm using the Crosshair 8 Impact, I need to name the BIOS file as C8i.cap. C stands for Crosshair, 8 stands for the Crosshair generation, so Crosshair 8, and the I stands for Impact, so C8i.cap. It has been the same naming scheme forever. For example, when I ran my very original uh, Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard in 2012, uh, it was done exactly the same way. So R4E, Rampage for Extreme. So R4E.cap or the ROM, depending on the file type. So we have the file inside this uh, USB flash drive over here, and we will place the USB drive into the uh, corresponding port at the rear I.O. So uh, uh, it's this one over here that's labeled as BAUS. So that's the USB BIOS flashback port. We will put the drive in that one, like that, and then we will just we will flip the power supply switch to get some power on the motherboard. Now we have the RGB lights lighting up, and now we will just press the BIOS button, so this one over here, for three seconds and it will start the blinking process. So you can see the BIOS button is blinking blue. If it stops pretty much immediately after you start the process, it means it's not going through as it should. And there's something wrong with the file you are trying to flash. So now we will just let this to uh, do the process. Once the blinking ends, it means the BIOS has been flashed and then you can, or you should be able to uh, turn on the motherboard and the whole rig as normal. So uh, it might take a while, I think maybe maximum of let's say two minutes or a few minutes, but usually it's quite fast. When the flashing procedure is uh, approaching towards the end, the whole blinking will uh, fasten up. So now it's blinking faster than at the start and soon it will end completely. So uh, should be 
very very soon. Okay, now the blue blinking light has ended on the BAUS flashback button, so it actually took a little bit longer than what I could remember. So after a few minutes the uh, BAUS flashback process has been completed and now the BAUS or now the motherboard should post successfully with the uh, newest BAUS flashed in. So that's how you update the motherboard's BAUS without a CPU installed in the socket or with a working CPU installed in a socket. So it doesn't really matter which what CPU you have in the socket for this process or if you don't have any in the socket at all. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.